Let's <laughs> get into it. Game one. It's not a boulder. It's a it's rock. A rock. <laughs> All right, we're back. We're so back. We're so back. Wait, wait, that's, wait, I'm waiting for him to side beat to make that joke. Hold on. Oh, big damn Oh, go. my God. Hi, you should ride me for miles. There we go. <laughs> yeah, just really clean uh, hit falls here for Mal. And obviously, uh, you know, you think of Rano as the character that benefits from it, but Craig, Craig back here with hit fall on top of it is just criminal. Okay. Pretty even start here, which definitely favors Craig. 100%. Yeah, I think. Uh, Great turnaround. Great turnaround. Yeah, oh, that's it. Wow. Yeah, that's Tremendous platform base. movement and also a little bit lucky with the platform positioning, but like, we'll take it. You mentioned earlier on how it's much harder to play with the, the pillars in a matchup like this. So, Malk's saying, okay, instead of playing on a pillar, I'm using to use this platform. This is my pillar now. Yep. This platform is my pillar, and it's looking pretty good so far. You saw Lucius uh, do like kind of a plat I think it was a tilt boosted, like, boosted somehow to get off stage until the needle and just barely missed it. Took the stock right after anyway, but that's the kind of thing that you have to keep your eye out for in this matchup. Uh, I generally like as Craig to try to make my pillar as far away from stage as possible, but it's also really scary to do that against Rano because Rano Fair will stop the momentum of Craig's side, move, which is another thing that can make her like fairly easy. Oh, oh no, that's unfortunate. Yeah. And you also you have to be really careful about doing the pillar side beat, but it doesn't even matter. We're going down to the last stock already. A minute and a half into this game. We are cooking right now. This My is Rivals God. 1 speed. I'm with it, man. I'm, I see why you guys play that game now. This is yeah. crazy. Oh, great spot, spot dodge. dodge. Oh, but the dare missed. Yeah. He did the turnaround, I think, before he, before he threw it out. But. Now, the big thing here for Malk is going to be able to uh, hold this lead. Oh, I mean, sheesh, man. I think Lucius looking like the same way he's looking against Heels. That was the way. such a dangerous pillarless recovery. But back to stage and now has pretty good advantage here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Lucius is ready for that. There we go. Big pressure on that platform as well. I'm actually trying to get. Uh, oh, oh, there you go. Nice grab. This could be grab, the down throw. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but the, oh, oh, scary situation. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Pulled it, pulled it. And oh, that's painful. Mount cooked just a little bit too hard there. Had the right idea. Mm -hmm. Was going for the uh, down throw into the uh, coming back home with the down air. Fortunately, Lucius was already on stage and he hit the down air. So, fortunately, you uh, dropped there at the end. Man. Uh, if you watch Genesis, you were probably like, why did that down throw not kill? Uh, but, you know. There, that's uh, why. That, game you, balance. You, you, watch, <laughs> you watch Genesis, that's why it didn't yep. kill anymore. Uh, also, not to mention, like, Crag 40, I think, like. Dude, they well, they added a, a sour spot, which is uh, big, really the big, lower. big deal. Which was kind of kind of difficult for me to adapt to uh, first uh, couple of betas when that was live. I think it's been that long now. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, definitely a good change. <laughs> <laughs> well, no one's complaining. I don't, I'm not complaining about that. But here we go. Oh, the Nair thing into the bubble there. Now yeah, I'm walking nice. Break, break, break. Here we go. Here we go. We see uh, Mulk trying to, honestly, he's trying to air air a lot with his Rhino. I recognize, like you mentioned earlier, a lot of priority on Rhino's aerial. So even if Krag's hitbox are huge, you can't really air air them as much as you think uh, you would. The fact that uh, Mulk got the reverse spare hitbox on that bubble actually saved him from getting trapped, I think. <laughs> okay, nice. Yeah, there, factor nice. there you go. A classic. Absolute classic. Lucius held in on that back air, but like, kind of had to as part of the recovery. Here we go, sitting with the jab once more. Reset. Okay, we're gonna come up and nice going through high with that up special there. Still Malk accentuating this lead by big damage. You can mention earlier, man, Lucius with the uh, Ranu airs and back airs have been playing super, super well at the ledge. I think Lucius wanted a super jump there and missed it. Like, that's what I assume anytime I see a Rano crouch for that long before jumping. Oh, I'm just going for Nair to shoot. Interesting. I'm feeling that. Mm, All right. Nice. You gotta take it there with the forward air and now. Yeah, there's the super jump after the crouch. That's yeah. what I was expecting. Fortunate. Sometimes there's a fortunate isn't it? But there we go. On the platform once more. Malk, oh, playing around those needles actually really well. And big pressure from this, uh, from out of the corner. They trying to avoid that forward air as well. Lucius looking for a big damage off of that. Down and behind the one just yet. Pillar. Oh, excuse you? Oh, hold on. No, he just got away with that. In this matchup? No, but that's part of why it's hard to do any of that pillar nonsense to uh, Rano, because he has the option of throwing this, the, the dive kick part of the upbeat, but doesn't have to. Yeah. If he does the dive kick part, he's active quick enough that he can just wall jump when he goes too low. So, just so many recovery options. Because, like, I love the idea of using the pillar to say, all right, if you're going to recover, you have to break this pillar, and so I can use that to kind of set up the rest of the ledge guard. But this doesn't work that well in front of And what a dominant stock from Lucius. The, Lucius. the down tilt pair to take. Putting himself back into this game. There was a down throw into the forward. We were talking about this earlier. That move is kind of silly. Yeah. Kind of silly. A little bit. 
it though. Don't make kind of silly bro. Oh, down tilt instead of up tilt would have been real nice there, but yeah, you don't. You kind of just have to guess uh, the DI. I think it's pretty hard to react to that if it's even possible at all. Big up those coming out. Oh, the grab, the down throw is not going to do it just yet. Oh, the catching the high recovery there with the Ford strong. Oh, tries to challenge the bubble, which is crazy, yeah. Yeah, the dive kick is definitely punishable there. Ledge cancel gets caught. Back there, fair. Oh, yeah. hold on. Unfortunate roll there for Lucius. That that lost him all of those uh, the minus frames that he had to work with. And there's the fair to take it. Nice. Maul hanging on there, holding onto those deep edge guards for when he specifically needs it. Mm -hmm. It's huge. Very good stuff there, holding holding out, closing out one out there. Now we're going to game three. I definitely think we want to see a, a stage check here for Lucius because a lot of there's a lot of again like, using the uh, swinging platform there on the stage as the as a pseudo uh, crag pillar is definitely isn't really much in Lucius' favor. I think we want to see like like you mentioned like going to Harbor is big, or a stage like this. Yeah, yeah. High Ooh. platforms, multiple platforms, so you have those up special ledge cancels. For Rano, using that movement, our show, you see, the first move he pulls on the mat, the game yeah, is an up special. Oh, man. Okay. Interesting attempted the DI mix with the neutral throw and up smash. I wonder if there's a. Just wanted up there, but I missed it. But regardless, cooking still. Yeah, going, okay. Recognizing that he wasn't really getting much advantage off of doing the down throw because. Uh, what? Hello? Hello? Yeah, you have drift. You drift after that. So, it was not. What was that? That is the A uh, follow up off of uh, Rano up B. Because you can either just up B, do nothing. You can I've up B and do the dive never kick. Never seen B, that. And you can do the needle storm with A. Which, yeah, it is sorry. definitely the most niche of the options. But. It does have its place. And I thought that was see, a glitch. I thought I got like stuck on the platform. I was like, hello? <laughs> yeah, nah. And that was a thing in one as well. Okay, okay. Pretty cool. Uh, but nah, anyways, uh, Lucius trying to struggle here. And honestly, again, I think, I think going to a stage like this, I think if, you, if you're Lucius, you play, should be playing a lot more around those platforms considering that Malk, on the ground, Malk has been owning this uh -oh. game. But you go to a stage like this, you want to play around those platforms. A little bit of a lack of resources here. Yeah, okay. Well, it's not able to ledge cancel, but Yeah, there surprised. he is. There it is. No more that move. Here goes the upstitch coming out once more. Darts. Give the patience up. Oh. Big upstitch comes out. Let's yeah. go rock all the way up there. I like the wave bounce needle attempt, but Malk is very ready. Oh, and yeah, so it. much wow. gear of hit stun. Damn. Good awareness by Malk not to panic and just realizing, all right, I can position myself. I can just wait for him to be where I need him to be. Good stuff there. And now, starting up. Off stage, nice oh. little uh, conversions there for yeah, and now oh, you. Missed the pillar. That would have been so important. Big damage here. Uh, Malkin doing such a good job of catching a lot of these DI options. Oh, the big oh gets a little a little over aggressive there with that grab. I feel like one of the big things about edge guarding Craig is as long as he has the pillar to land back on, he has a bunch of options. Yeah. If you can take that away from him, then the then it gets a little more like sequential, right? You can say, alright, I have to do this, he has to do this, I can do this. Uh, but yeah, a lot harder to do that with the so That angle, dude. No way, right? You use the block to uh, get the little hop. So when you down throw the rock, you get a little hop. And so he actually had a couple options there. Okay, Lucius takes the stock on the board. 79's rough, but, you know, workable. Definitely doable if you're uh, if you're able to play a lot more patient here again, utilizing that movement to avoid crag. Easier said than done though, because again, all quite a singular hit. It's like that you miss a ledge cancel. You be <gasps> yo, that ha. yeah. I just got flashbacks. Down strong would have been great there. To uh, find the grab, they're getting a little too overselled. They're finding the okay, ledge cancel on yeah. that up stuff. They're real nice. Gotta have a short memory with that stuff. You know you're good. You know you're gonna hit your ledge cancel the next time you go for it. Don't be dissuaded. Like, catches the DI with the down strong. Honestly, I'm not sure it matters, but. Big lead here for Malt. Yes, it's huge. Looking to find the hands here there with the Nair. Go find it with the uh, back air as well. Seeing the down throw actually not yeah. going for the back air. Oh, nice. Goes to the special pummel actually. Yeah, and there's the mix. Like, it's, it's not a huge percent gain, but like anything that takes you out of that really annoying, my moves aren't launching around like 0 40 area. But yeah, I, I want to say that was a turnaround down B that he missed. Or maybe that. Oh, uh, there maybe we go. That. Another aerial scoop up there. Back air. Not going to find the four there just okay. yet. Beat it, hit fall, land, double jump. I think we'll convert that one. I can't force wrong to sit either. You can find the uh, rush of off from this Rano. Oh, nice spot that's here to avoid the darts. Big down throw oh. again. Yeah, just too high for that one. Malk went for the DI out punish, but not gonna that's matter. Finds the fair. Yeah, this is a huge stage. Huge stage here. 
about a about a mile of offstage that you got to deal with. Oh, the, oh. The, the rare special get a drag, and you see why it's rare. Goes all the way out there, nice using the second hit of yep. the upstairs to avoid that block. Now at 138, Lucius trying to hang on here, looking for anything. Nice use of that Rhino forward air. Here we go. This might be it, and it is. That but was still. really clean on the platform there. Last the thing is, box scenario for both these players. Frag is very gimmable. And now with the stacks, he is taking a little bit of damage. Like every time uh -huh. he presses a button. Uh huh. That was, that was dumb thing for Lucius. Not going to find too much of it, but definitely a uh, nice little scenario there for him. Yeah. 138, though. Yeah, if you one grab, one conversion there from Malk, and this game is over. You know, you can find, just literally just find the game up. off of a down throw right now. Okay, grab, though. Finding a lot of these damage with the bubbles with the... With the uh... oh, did, he, did he use the double jump? Doesn't matter. Okay, back throw. Not anywhere close to it, but this is a situation where you can set up. Incredible evasion, oh, but it doesn't matter. Oh, the weak spot of Ford are taking it. Yeah. And here we go. Now, Malk up 2-1 over Lucius. Looking to slot themselves into a winner side of Grands. I mean, this... Uh, honestly, crazy adaptation to play in a matchup by where you really just can't play your offstage game. Yep. I think if there's any crack who was going to take out Lucius today, it would have been... Uh, I would have like, Malk over him as we would take yeah, him out. Yeah, I mean... Malk's more of Malk's game is really focused on the offstage game, and more so of just playing the uh, grounded neutral game with cracks. I think yeah, I'm not, if I'm, any crack to not use the pillar, I think at Malk's the one. I'm honestly not sure what the set history... Oh, oh yeah, we got, we got a buffer sorry, down fault. air there. Yeah, you did that. Sorry, uh, guys. <laughs> But yeah, it's tough. Like, I know that uh, Lucius and MSB are at least live fairly close to each other if they're not from the same exact region. So they've probably played a few sets already, which also might be influencing the fact that, like, I wonder how much of Lucius's counterplay right now is, like, I'm counterplaying the MSB style of Craig. Uh, hard to say, though. Honestly, I think Mount's just really good at this game. <laughs> Now, I, I'm not going to discredit this crack whatsoever. This Monk is absolutely about it. Nice picking up there, the up tilt. Going all the way out there with oh, the dark. Really little crazy color looks there. there. <laughs> oh, there it is. There, there yeah. it is. That's why this Finally. matchup is so... <laughs> I feel validated four <laughs> yep. games in. I, you, you people see why this matchup is so bad. That just speaks to how well Malk has been recovering, though, because... Four games, that's the first time we're seeing it. Yeah, it... Basically, uh, both the games that I played against Lucius at uh, Supernova were close, but there was, in both games, there was one super early stock where I just pillared in a bad spot and died. And uh, yeah, Mount's uh, recognition of when. Ooh. Wow, such good patience to not just throw out a move right away, wait for the hit stun, recognize that the eye was pretty much in that straight up and down uh, trajectory and just take the stock. Not sure it's going to matter here with this lead, but that was cool. <laughs> it, I forgot to say that means something. Here comes yep. the side special coming out, though. Oh, Lucius is look, coming to life for honestly. This is what the, the aggression that we've been seeing for the rest of the set. Step there. Here we go. Playing out the corner. Big pressure on the ledge there. Not quite yet, but he's got to make a deep pillar. Got to be careful here. Yep. we go. The Pick combination up. of crouch, threatening crouch cancel into super jump. Really scary. Uh, Crouching Rano, definitely really, really uh, might be the best character in the game. Specifically, Crouching Rano. <laughs> okay, you know what? Fair enough. Fair enough. It's kind of like Diddy with Banana, you know. Like, yeah, yeah, totally. Very situational thing. Oh, that was wow, coming out. Okay. Good stuff. And that's yep. gonna take it. Yep. And now we've got a game five in our hands. Lucius versus Malk. Malk. Lucius, a really good adaptation there towards the end. And again, just like the one little thing. Well, Malk is like, okay, it's four, I'm four games in. I haven't been, my, my pillar destroyed like this yet. Oh, would be fine pillaring here. Nope. I really dislike playing on that stage as Craig, too. It just feels like you'd never have enough space to do anything. You don't have enough space to press down, but you don't have enough space to uh, pull your rock. Yeah. Uh, and that's a lot of your neutral, as it turns out. At least it's a lot of mine. So. Yes, and I think Lucius is absolutely correct to ban Hyperborean Harbor here. I think Craig is broken on that stage. Uh, but yeah, this is, a, this is a good one for him. Yeah, and not just because of home field advantage. Oh, yeah. huh. oh. Jeez. I was about to say, yeah. you, you were not But wrong. actually, lost significant advantage there. Now has to deal with the two-stack bubble. And yeah, so that's another application of it, is if you get a hit while this, on the bubble while they still stack on you. Can, basically force the needle storm and re-stack them with uh, four. Just off that little bit. Okay, okay, I, I see the there. Here comes the pillar though. Oh, nice, avoiding that special pummel there. Nice. Oh, that was so good. Forcing the special fall after breaking the pummel. 
that's that's Craig science right there. I nice. love to see it. Lucius definitely knows what is going on. It's about to be reverse it. That forward air though. Rock coming out to avoid that bubble. Uh -oh. Oh, there yeah. we go. And catching the high recovery there with the forward air. Very good for some. Very pivotal first off there from Malk. Lucius could have waited a little bit, but I don't blame him for uh, thinking he had to press up B right away. Okay. Pushing off the shield there with the up tilt. Taking so much advantage. Oh, yeah, he had a little bit more if he wanted it, but. Uh oh. Yo, Malk yeah, is feeling win. himself right now. I think the stage difference, you're, you're seeing it. Like, Craig has space to work now. Yeah, you give, give this character some leeway, especially you don't have to uh, waste so much of recovering. So, Eve out there, immediately destroying that rock, getting off that pillar as soon as humanly possible. Oh, almost right finding the there. Factor, yeah. Take pressure on that shield. Yeah, okay, no. that trade works out uh, in his favor, I think. But it's just out of range of getting the needle to hit the pillar. Back. Back oh. oh, not gonna find the bubble there, but actually still gonna take it there with the forward air. Still had it to extend the hitbox. Yeah. Very good stuff there. Oh, look at the nice ledge cancel. Yep, yep. There we go. Nice. And two stacks of darts as well. You know, nice uh, getting out of that with the, uh, the grab break. Yeah, and I think Lucius is uh, understanding that the mix typically for Malk starts with normal pummel and then mixes into special in later. Because uh, you do get the chain grab from as Craig on uh, normal pummel at low percents, but wow, that down strong killing. That's a pretty early one, and that's got to feel really good for Malk. We're one stock away from Grands now. Hey, Malk, this could be huge for you. You need to accentuate some more. Again, big hit of that near to play right outside of that danger range of Rano. You know, up air again into the fourth throw as well. Nice spot down, huge spot down there. Oh, the pummel, the uh -oh. up throw backwards. Oh, uh -oh. had the right idea, but not gonna find it. No, good Honestly, uh, official there from Lucius. Good on Lucius not pecking the wall there. Oh, that's yeah. what that down air was designed to hit, I think. Well, nice forward air again, and that's going to do it. Who's Last stock scenario. This is anyone's game right now. But we'll come down, right, Lucius, let's cancel. cancel. There we go. Four stacks, you gotta be careful of this bubble. Damage coming here. The it's bubble, buddy. Yeah. Uh, pretty good steering there from Malk, honestly, but he still took 50. <laughs> Sheesh. Open oh, now, big pressure on the shield again. We're not really going to see too much of the uh, counterplay of that. Rano just kind of laying free reign over that oh, shield. Oh, that missed hurts. Big jab, there you go. That's huge. Oh, Get that crowd way out there. Wow, Ooh. how did that miss? Almost that having was that fourth strong. That literally would have been it. But still, at Malk's still holding on strong here. I think for that down special. Lucius getting out of the corner, getting the, the darts as much as he can. The frog is getting out of there. The frog is small and slippery. Missed the ledge Missed cancel. cancel. Oh, oh it again. again. Oh, this could be but huge for Malk. still okay. Yeah. Forward air, great choice yeah, on the DI mix up. Wow. Yep, yep, yep. Because you had to respect back air in that spot, too. Because, like, a, a, sour, a sour back air on the other side, like the front hit back air, would have also led into forward air yeah. on DI in. So, yeah, it, it, really tough spot for Malk. Lucius was facing a big deficit, a really big deficit there. And yeah, I mean, I get it. <laughs> I, I get it too. I Bryce. get it. I understand. Now, that was a little bit of, and just, I mean, like the way Malk played that matchup super, super well. Yeah. Like delaying those pillars off stage, only losing like one stock in the entire five games. So the stock, the pillar early on, mm -hmm. finding a lot of those pressuring Rhino on platforms, easier said than done considering what he can do with ledge cancels or moving around the platforms. But oh, at the end of the day... Miss. <laughs> tragic. Absolutely tragic. Just the way that ended, mm -hmm. just the fact that Lucius was just finally utilizing the bubble a lot more towards the game. Finding, yeah. finding so many stacks really just wasn't utilizing the bubble as much. Saying, okay, you know what? <laughs> You're getting really comfortable throwing out your seam setups on the ground over and over with your flow chart. Mm -hmm. If I just grab you with bubble, then what? He even set it up with the block, the yeah. forward strong, because the whole point of that setup is that the forward strong is usually only active on, say, four or five frames if it's like it was in Rivals 1. Yeah. You get you get a flat 10 frame bonus to hitbox activity when you hit a rock. Yeah. That's, that's out for a long time, and that's why I was like, okay, yeah, it looked like the swing was over, but I thought the hitbox would still be there. But uh, Lucius got just far back enough to avoid it, and yeah.